All right, let's talk about the toilet. Finally. We're building a dry composting toilet, more or less kind of like a variation of it. We're just going to have a box with a urine separator in the front and then a bucket in the back for solids with probably peat moss or, or one of those things that you can layer on top of the solids to keep the odor down. Apparently the separation according to liquids and solids already takes care of a large amount of the odor and then adding peat moss or similar type drying materials to the solids can help with that. And then also, the way that this works is, the way you've built this box is to have... But to have one lid here. I am dead inside and full of regret. To have one lid here, uh, which then you would open in order to then sit on this piece, which is going to have the toilet seat and the urine separator underneath it and then underneath all of that will be the bucket and the the liquid container as you can see it's pretty simple it's just a box within a box what's in a box what's in a fucking box look is a smaller box that is reinforced for being able to take my weight and then in the back there's a little bit of extra space for storing toilet paper or whatever i might put back there i made this based off a video i saw on youtube just watched the video and then came into the shop and tried to figure it out myself. I'm fairly happy with it. There are some imperfections and I think I would go differently if I did it again. For instance, I'd put more space on the side to my right sitting down for storage rather than put it in the back. Now I have to have space in the back because this has to be flush with my couch, which everything in the van is kind of contingent on something else. So nothing is really pure and simple by itself. You have to take into account a lot of other things, uh, like what else is going on in the van, in order to make sure you're taking into account all the different things that are happening in your van to make sure things work well together rather than are just separate units that kind of stick out. And now I'm going to take some polyurethane clear coat high gloss finish and coat the inside of probably all of the inside of both boxes because likely going to be dirty in there at some point and also enabling me to be able to wipe it down and clean it and I went to the hardware store and they gave me this water-based polyurethane and then this specific one he gave me is supposed to be pretty durable I believe so let's get to work One of the trade-offs of using um, water-based polyurethane, the one, one I'm using, I believe it takes longer to dry so the odor sticks around a lot longer, but it also is more forgiving in its application. So for someone like me who I don't really know what I'm doing, it's perfect for me. Anyway, I coated the inside, uh, tried to make sure I got pretty much every surface area. I coated the bottom of the seat and also the top of the seat, everything that basically could have a chance of 
getting splashed or getting dirty in some way that I would then want to wipe down, but I also would not want to soak into the wood. Looks pretty good. I'm probably going to paint the face, so I didn't do that, and the side will be hidden, and the top will be covered with the cushion, so there's a lot that I didn't do, mostly because I don't need to. I might take this can and come back. This was the smallest size they had, so unfortunately I have a bunch of extra, but I might come back and do more once I get more of the pieces for the toilet here. Uh, until then, we're gonna let this dry, we're gonna leave the van open, we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back in a couple of hours and see how it is looking, and then get started on the rest of the toilet. All right, so we are ready to continue to work on the toilet. We had to wait a while for the urine separator to arrive all the way from the UK. I don't know about you guys, but this was incredibly difficult to find. There was one dude selling custom parts from Florida and I found him, marked him, and it was like a Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning I went to go buy it from him and he was out of stock. So apparently a lot of people need to separate their urine. But this came all the way from the UK, a pretty beat up package, but it made it all right. I'm very happy with it. If you're not familiar with how this works, this is going to sit near the front and then in the back is going to be the bucket and below this will be just a uh, liquid collecting jug and uh, that will eliminate most of the odor from using the toilet in the van and then I'll probably light a match after I'm done using it. Put a special sort of chemical in the liquids and then uh, peat moss or sawdust or something in the solids every time you use it. I don't really plan on using the toilet that much. Uh, it's more of an emergency thing and also just peace of mind having it in here. But the process we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cutting the hole for the main sitting area. So we have our toilet seat wrapped up here. We're gonna unwrap. Then we're going to be installing this. We're gonna be installing the seat and we're going to put little strappings down, little pieces of wood down to hold the bucket in place and the liquids collector in place inside the toilet. I'm gonna to have to take the top of the seat off in order to access it, but that should be fine. Just unscrew it, bring it into the shop, jigsaw hole in it exactly where it needs to go. We'll just get to work. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so I just um, drilled a hole big enough for my jigsaw blade to fit through uh, and then jigsawed out the outline of the elongated toilet seat. I prefer elongated toilet seats. I don't like the little tiny ones where you have to like tuck into it, if you know what I mean. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So elongated is what I need. Should I cut all that out? Now we'll leave it in. This is non aesthetic van lifer. Anyways, I had trimmed off a little bit of the back of the seat because the seat is a little too long and I don't need all of the surface area of the seat, like whoever sits on the very, very back of the seat, that's just for backsplash. No, nothing, no laughs, okay. Anyway, trimmed off a little bit of it, bit of it so that it could fit on here and it could still open uh, all the way it, so that I can access everything underneath it without having to hold it up with my arm. Uh, and then this toilet or the liquid separator will just fit right under here. I'm just gonna screw it directly onto the bottom of the plywood uh, at the opening right there. Oh, I also took off these little pieces from the bottom of the toilet seat because I'm just gonna drill through the bottom of the toilet or through the bottom of the plywood into the bottom of the toilet seat without actually breaking all the way through just, just to connect it on there. And I don't need these. And I don't actually think I'm gonna use the top of the seat either because it wouldn't, it would be kind of a lot of work to seal it. I'd have to put a rubber gasket around the edge. It's not gonna be sealed. The point is not to trap smell in there, it's to either eliminate it or reduce it as much as possible, or just don't use it as much as possible. I'm gonna screw this seat onto here. I'm gonna screw the separator onto here. We're gonna take it back out there and see how it looks. And then we'll start working with the jug, which I couldn't find a flat and short and large jug for uh, collecting liquids. And I have a certain height that I'm trying to do with the couch, which is gonna be extending from this. This is part of the couch. So long story short, I'm gonna have to jerry-rig my liquids container a little bit. But I think with the PVC part I got from the store the other day and some beauty all tape, I should be able to do it. Let's screw this in here. Let's attach the toilet separator and let's go see what we're dealing with. Okay. 
As you can see, I had to shave off a little bit of the red bucket in order to fit the urine separator as forward as possible so that there's a reasonable amount of room between solids and urine uh, collection. I also put a thin coat uh, with just a rag of that clear coat that I had coated everything else with around the newly cut edge inside the rim because I figure that'll be the place that gets the most dirty probably. So I want to be able to wipe that down and also want it to be sealed. I'll probably run one more coat over with a rag just for making sure that it's as secure as possible. The next step is going to be reattaching the seat. So right now it's just sitting in there, reattaching it with the provided screws then securing the solids bucket. So just putting a piece of plywood down in there that keeps it from wiggling around, keeps it right in its place. And then doing the same thing with the liquid container and then screwing, drilling a hole. This is where the jerry rigging comes in, drilling a hole in the top of that uh, liquids collector and taking my, my PVC piece right here. And my idea is to put this in the top of the collector so that the urine separator spout touches or hits right in the center of this. And then that's like the connection point. That's where the liquids will transfer from the urine separator, well, from my body to the urine separator to this, which then is, is mounted inside the liquids container that I managed to find. So I think I'll cut the hole, run this around the newly cut edge, and then kind of just jam this in here and see if that creates some sort of semi water sealed tight it doesn't need to be watertight in the sense that if i turned it upside down it would stay sealed it just needs to be splash proof basically for while i'm driving that's also why i'm doing the attachment inside this piece because this hole is much much smaller than this hole and therefore splashing will be much less likely to make it outside of this hole so i'm gonna go get the pvc cement connect this start drilling holes start beauty all taping and see what happens all right so we've got our piece pvc cemented together this ideally is going to sit like this right in here. So I'm gonna drill a hole here, wrap beauty all tape around the edge of that hole, and then stick this down in there, probably right up and up to this rim right here. And then uh, this will sit inside and hopefully the urine separator will dip right into this little hole. And that'll be like its little catch. The catch in here, urine will transfer from my body into the urine separator, into this little hole, into here. And then I can just take this out real carefully and dump it. Um, we'll see if that works. Knowing me or knowing my luck, I'm gonna do all this perfectly and then this cap is gonna turn out to be leaky. I could test it, but you know, YOLO. I'll figure that out. Okay, so it fits pretty snug, but I'm gonna run the beauty all tape around the edge anyway and see if I can make it even more snug. I think this would do. I just wanna make sure as little chance as possible. I opened the uh, toilet one day and it's just been splashed because there was enough liquid in here that while I was driving, <laughs> that was a dumb idea. I don't know why I have an impulsive desire to blow. Wow, moving on from that, I can't see. Welcome to the van build series where Jeremiah blinds himself by blowing. <laughs> Let's just move on. So hopefully this beauty all tape around the edge will create a little bit more of a tight seal. And then that tiny hole in there will not be enough for splashes to actually come out. Hey, that actually worked pretty nicely. It is in there pretty snug. It's slightly recessed uh, due to the pressure I put on it, which I like because it's a tight space in there. It being bowed slightly will actually help my case in the van. Uh, let's take it out there, let's see how it fits. And then we'll start battening things down, not tightening them down so I can't remove them, but just tighten them down enough so they don't move back and forth and all around. Um, and I'll just use some spare plywood strips for that. And then I guess uh, it'll be time for me to go get some Mexican for lunch. Man, today's rough. This is gonna be the roughest video that we've had yet. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay, so we screwed down some uh, separators in order to hold the uh, solids and the liquids containers tight. And then we also, I was testing to see where this little black thing was gonna land in order to place my uh, catcher, my liquid catcher in the best place. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not very comfortable, but maybe that's just because it's not a real toilet. Again, this is a last resort. This is an emergency type thing. 
It is not about, oh, I can just get so comfortable in my van and grab a magazine and just, who talks like that about pooping anyway? It's primarily for pooping. I'm not gonna pee in here. Since I'm a man and my tools are a little different, I can pee almost anywhere. And so I have been peeing in a bottle that I keep under my seat all the time because you know you just come to a place where you don't have a bathroom and I always always for some reason find out I have to go to the bathroom right when I actually have to go and it's a necessity and not just you know oh I might have to go to the bathroom in 20 or 30 minutes so this will be when I'm in a city or when I'm in the middle of nowhere and I don't have a shovel whatever it might be this will be a last resort being able to poop and pee because that normally happens at the same time for me at least maybe not for you guys I just need to get some liquids to test out whether that cap is actually sealed and actually water Watertight, the cap that came with the container that I screwed a hole into. And then I need to get some toilet paper and stick it back into this back pocket back here. And then some sawdust or peat moss or whatever I decide to use that to cover the solids. What you do is you poop and then you put a layer of whatever you're using, sawdust, peat moss or whatever, above it, over it. And then you poop on top of that and then you put another layer. And that's what starts to dry it out. And that's what keeps the odor down. I'm also probably gonna attach like a pack of matches somewhere nearby and just light a match when I'm done because that's the most effective way to eliminate an odor. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I decided not to go with a vent, which would have meant drilling a hole in the back of the van. I don't really want to drill another hole for something that I don't intend on using all the time. If I had a kid or a wife who insisted on using the bathroom all the time, then maybe I would have to drill a hole in order to make sure that it's venting. But since I only plan to use this once a week, twice a month, something like that, something very infrequent, which who knows, maybe that'll change, but I didn't want to drill a hole just for that. If I need to, I can always go back and drill a hole because everything's attached via those plus nuts, so everything I can take apart and put back together super easily. I'm really happy with how this goes. I'm gonna have to test it out and see how it goes because, you know, you gotta test these things out. I don't have anything in me right now, but maybe if I sit here for a while. Nothing came out. I also don't know how this would work for a woman. I guess she would have to like sit closer up front or something, but for me, it was built for me since it's my van. I can just aim directly into the urine separator. Clear shot, super easy. I've done much more difficult things in my life. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I don't plan on using it very much, but I'm, I'm still pretty happy with it and always makes me happy to finish another thing on the van build. I will update the description in a couple of months when I have used it and I've been on the road more and let you know what the odor is like and how I control it and what using it is like and if it's splashing, all those different things that are kind of gross details, but they're necessary if you're gonna be building this inside of a home that you're trying to build inside of a cargo van, which was not meant for this purpose. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and hope you enjoyed me talking all about all the different ways that I can aim really well.